Good afternoon. Today is part three of wire guidance. Uh, we'll actually take the truck out and I'll explain to you what's going on. Um, something, I guess, one thing to remember about the sensors as we're going, I'll explain that now, is these wire guidance sensors that I kind of showed you, their, their box is about this big, probably about seven by five by say two inches, maybe three inches thick. They have three coils in them. Your main center coil, which senses the wire that we're going after, and then the two outer coils are for error correction and steer correction. When those get too, when it senses too much of the wire, it knows to push away from that sensor to get it back in line. So we're going to uh, go out there and see what happens. So you're just going to have to. I'm probably going to do a thing where you don't have to stare at my bald ass head the whole time. Uh, here we go. So one you're going to see while we're heading out there. Is this, when we get on the wire, is going to turn green. And that means we are locked onto wire guidance and we can no longer steer ourselves. It is all done by the truck after that. All right, take three on trying to get synchronized video. So we're going to come out here. This is going to turn green. When that turns green, it lets us know that we are locked onto the wire. I'm going to hit this switch down here. Well, that one right there. Lights are going to come on. And it's going to start seeking the antenna, the yellow wire that we've learned about before. Let's do that now. We'll try to stand on the side. So as you can see, it's pulling us on. Steering does. Also may notice that we're going faster than you're used to seeing. When you are locked on the wire, it allows you to use six and a half miles per hour because there's no human error in steering. That's a custom of choice thing. Amazon has it set up five miles an hour off the wire. Six and a half more. Alright, so when you get towards the end, you turn that switch back on. Now you are free to move about the country. Another thing is these are pretty good at pulling you onto the wire. Let me show you. Right now we're going to pull on at about a 25, 30 degree angle. Take your time with it. You don't need to go full throttle. So it'll come in, you'll get a little hiccup or two as it's pulling the sensors in. And there you go. Like I said, steering does move. While you're driving, you can still you know, do your ups and downs. So Amazon does not, uh, their policy is not to go up while you're moving. Because if a pallet happens to be hanging out and you're up too high and you get caught on it, it might throw the machine over. Anyway, getting back to the end. Kill the switch, hit the horn to let people know you're coming out. And move on to your next assignment. Which in our case is just pulling in the shot. Take three. Hopefully, this one will work. Uh, assuming it did, thank you for watching. Uh, if you want to know anything else about wire guidance or whatever, just let me know. I'll film it up and subscribe if you like. Talk to you next time.